started as a small commemoration has now turned into a nationwide event where tens of thousands are honoring fallen officers. And House Republicans held a special news conference highlighting legislation that, if passed, could drastically improve the lives of law enforcement. Every, every name has a face. It has a story. It has a memory. It has a family that has been left behind. Patrick Yeos, the president of the National Fraternal Order of Police, says it's our responsibility to honor the fallen and support their families. We often take this, this cycle of life for granted. But let me tell you the reality of it. It's bought and paid for by a whole lot of men and women who suit up and show up every day in communities across this country and make a difference in the lives of those they serve. And House Republicans want to do just that. Republicans have and always will proudly back the blue. And these officers exemplify the American spirit. They are the best of us. But according to Sheriff Chad Bianco of Riverside, California, the rule of law has been eroded. And he says politics have simply got in the way. In this alternate universe, law enforcement officers are the bad guys and criminals are somehow victims of society. To change this, those in Congress who previously worked in law enforcement have drafted legislation specifically looking to better the lives of officers. Well, she would say, be safe and come home to me. And I would say, don't worry about me, worry about the other guy. Representative Clay Higgins said he was proud to wear a badge, but that it does come with a hefty price. It was very real as well, because we didn't know if I was coming home. And sometimes officers leave for the night and they don't come home. These men and women show up for us every day, and now it is our turn to show up for them. Representative Pete Staber served as an officer for 20 years and said writing this legislation is vital for the future of our country and the safety of our officers. 2023 was the worst year on record as 378 police officers were shot in the line of duty. Make no mistake, this uptick in violence is the direct result of the radical Democrats' soft on crime policies and the defund the police movement. Several pieces of legislation being introduced in the House addresses anti-police attacks, expands concealed carry rights of police officers, protects police in the line of duty, one bill looks to deport illegals who assault law enforcement, and another bill hones in on supporting the mental health of those who serve. Representative Anthony Desposito criticized current policies in place which have harmed officers. And the anti-police rhetoric that plague many places like New York Jonathan Diller's killer was freed after 21 times and allowed to murder a New York City police officer. Representative Mike Ezell is a second generation law enforcement officer. And if you think about what's going on in this country right now with the defund the police movement, the way that the police are being demonized, who are you going to call at two o'clock in the morning when you need help? Majority Leader Steve Scalise reflects on the 2017 shooting during a baseball practice among members of Congress. Crazed gunman comes out to kill all of us on the ball field that day. And the only reason I'm here today before you alive is because of David Bailey and Crystal Griner with the United States Capitol Police who risked their life for all of us. So the question is, will Democrats embrace this pro-police legislation? Representative Scalise says that he hopes both sides of the aisle will recall being saved by police back in 2017. I'm Natasha Sweet for The Washington Examiner.